guys and welcome back to another episode of Keigo Moriyama Photography and today I have a pack with me from Cameratori. What's inside? Let's check it out! And inside uh, we will find the Valoi 360 system together with a couple of candies. Okay, let's start uh, with the different items that are in the box. We have the 120 holder that you can see for now here in the picture. And this is the Valoi 120 holder and is made for medium, fi medium film like 120 format, but also the discontinued format 220 and 620. It can be used to capture frame size from 6 to 4.5 to 6 by 9 in a single shot or wider than that with the digital stitching. So pretty good, right? Then we have the 135 holder as this one for now. And this is made for standard 35 film or the 135 and can be used to capture half frame and full frame in a single shot as well as a wider frame with digital stitching. So in case we have, for example, the panorama, we need to have two of them and then digitally stitched together. Then inside uh, this uh, bag, here we have the duster that is exactly, as you can see here, uh, one of the new tools that they have added and allows you to clean the film while going through this duster and this uh, is attached to the advancer itself. After that, in this other package, here we have the Valoi diffuser. This is another uh, new add to the Valoi system and allows you to better diffuse the light under the advancer. And last but not least, the film advancer that will allow you to increase the productivity and quality while scanning. It's compatible with the holders in the 360 system and uh, with all the accessories like the one, for example, the duster or the diffuser that we have seen before. What do we need to utilize our Valoi 360 system? First of all, we need a copy stand. There are different available in the market, but uh, you can come up with something DIY like I did. And in fact, this is a TV stand, a 32 inches, uh, uh, four TV of 32 inches dimension TV stand. And uh, I just attach a ball head and I can put my camera here and then take the picture of the frame that I want to automatically scan. Next, we need a digital camera with a macro lens. The reason why we need a macro lens is that because we can focus close to the frame itself and utilize at its maximum the capability of the sensor. Uh, what we have to do in uh, when you're going to set up your digital camera, first of all, utilize uh, the lower ISO as possible, the widest aperture on your lens and in this case this lens uh, is uh, f4 and uh, at the same time uh, try to uh, speed up uh, adjust accordingly the uh, shutter speed for your camera what you have to add then is uh, put the camera in manual mode that will allow you to manually focus to the frame as well as uh, is suggested to utilize a remote control in order to uh, control the camera without touching it. Next, we need a light source. In this case, I'm using this portable LED light that we had reviewed before, and uh, I can set it up as uh, 5,500 Kelvin. Then, last but not least, of course, we need our alloy system on top of the light. So, without further ado, Let's try to scan some film and see the results. Please remember that usually 
uh, all these uh, uh, negative films that you're going to uh, take with your digital camera of course need to be uh, changed to positive. You can do that automatically on uh, Photoshop but uh, the results that you can get is not perfect so it suggests to utilize some plugins or some uh, external software. Uh, all the details of this software or plugins are in the Valoi homepage that I will leave the link here and in the description below as well. What you have to take care before taking the picture is that you need to try to avoid as much as possible the light that is around uh, the camera and the frame. So as you see I have put now here on the back a uh, black curtain to cover my window. I have here a uh, light source that I'm going to turn it off so that I can maximize the uh, results when I'm going to turn the light source on. But before doing that I want to show you how to insert the film and then we can start taking our picture. When you're using uh, film, it's always recommended uh, to utilize a pair of gloves to avoid uh, to leave uh, the grease on the uh, frame itself. So what we're going to do is to insert the film inside the, the duster like this. Then we will put the film inside the, the roller. And then we will put the film inside the, the holder. And go to take a photo. So when we turn the roll, we can see how the film is advancing. And of course, it's represented here as well on our screen. When we frame it accordingly, and as I say, they utilize the manual focus. We can zoom in and I can utilize the focus picking. And when it's done, the only thing that I have to do, as I was mentioning, is to take a picture. I can then go to the next frame And then again, simply take a picture. So what happens if instead of utilizing uh, the macro lens that we have here, we are going to use instead a normal lens? Well, let's check it out. The first things that we will notice utilizing uh, normal lens is that of course the focusing distance between the lens and the frame in this case our subject cannot be so close because of course this is not the macro lens so we need to lift it up that means we have to of course change the setting here now for convenience i will use it manually and we will try to zoom all the way in up to 135 millimeter and I'm going to take the photo for you. And I will compare this one with uh, another one that I have uh, previously taken with a macro lens and so we can see the difference. So you can, you see the distance right and this is already zoomed in 
and the image on my screen it's uh, it's small right so even if I try to go closer unfortunately the camera cannot uh, zoom in anymore because it's too close to the to the lens so again it's not really worth taking picture with uh, a normal lens versus uh, the macro one what do you think about uh, this Valoi 360 system I have to admit that I'm extremely satisfied with it because uh, it speed up uh, so much the all scanning process and uh, the good point of it is that it's extremely extremely flexible that means you can simply start with just the older and then little by little upgrade to the advancer the diffuser the duster or the other older space on what is uh, your uh, uh, type of film that uh, you are going to shoot and uh, at the same time I feel like uh, it's also super compact that means uh, you don't have to be worried of having that huge big scanner on your desk this one you can put in a cabinet and that's all it's it's gone and uh, you don't have to think about it till the next scanning I feel the design it's uh, it's really well done the rollers are going to help a lot to speed up the whole process and in this case uh, I'm here to suggest you uh, in case you are not developing the film by yourself but uh, you are going to leave it to a lab to request to have uh, the film not cut because uh, in this case uh, you will have uh, a better uh, flow of the whole scanning uh, process and you will take advantage of the rollers at its best because when the film is already cut it will keep finishing so you have to do again all the process what I feel like could be a little bit improved instead is the duster part as you see um, we put that here next to the rollers but uh, if, for example, you are going to have the whole film long, I feel like it's okay to do the other way around and just insert ones and have then the film being catch up by the rolls and take over of everything. But as I was saying, uh, the uh, duster itself, it's really a great add because it's helping you to clean the, the film. But these brushes, uh, are in my opinion a little bit too strong to allow the film to easily going through by itself so I don't know probably having them longer with the base uh, uh, attached lower I don't know that will provide a little bit more flexibility and possibly help the film to, to go through easier am I going to suggest this uh, system to everyone yes definitely uh, I came from uh, the traditional scanner processing and uh, gosh it's it's really too long it's uh, painful uh, it improved honestly with the Silverfast 8 uh, uh, solution that I have uh, um, started using uh, recently but again the the useful digital camera that we have you can simply go with that and it's it's easier on the other hand of course you need a macro lens as we saw before so it's uh, something that you have to consider in case uh, you uh, you don't have but in the market we can find cheap stuff like that so it's uh, I feel it's not that difficult what I'm going to do next is to time what, how long it will take with the Paloi 360 and how long it will take with the scanner instead so please stay tuned to the channel subscribe it and click the bell button so that you will be notified when the next uh, video will be released I suggest you to go to the Valoi page as well where it's uh, in detail explain uh, what kind of software you can use, uh, what kind of uh, setup is recommended, what kind of uh, hobby stand solutions uh, are uh, available in the market and suggested by them.
but again you can uh, simply go uh, with a DIY solution as well pretty easily. Before closing, uh, um, I want to thank you very much the Valoi uh, team, especially Ariel and Jess that I am in contact with to set up the whole uh, review for, uh, uh, for you guys. And uh, I have to say thank you to Juho from Camera Rescue as well that helped to facilitate this review as well. Uh, last but not least, Cameratori that uh, sent me the, uh, the item. So if you guys are interested in any uh, camera related stuff or the Valoi system itself, please check the Cameratori homepage. That's all for me guys, hope you liked the video. If you have any question, if you have any specific uh, requests for testing this Valoi 360 system, please let me know in the comments below. And as usual, till next time, stay click. Bye.